myself. And we're on air catching me fixing my jacket. Welcome to the Greg and Jen Show. I'm Gregory Hall. And I'm Jennifer Nangle. Ah, uh, yes, my nice big breasted co host, Jen. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing? Doing good. Don't give me that look. You like it when I say that. I give you that introduction. You like it. She my likes. mama would be so proud. He would be, because she's responsible. So, I mean. <laughs> Did I say in my last podcast, I said you need to think on Mother's Day and Father's Day, you should thank your parents for having sex that night, because if not, you would not be here. I understand, but that still is really creepy to me. I'm really sorry. No, nah, that's not creepy. Listen, if my parents didn't get down that night, I could have ended up in a napkin. But anyway, uh, <laughs> we, you know, let, let's jump right into it. Jen, we got a special guest tonight. We do, we do. We have our good friend Tom, good friend how are you? The Geek Supremacy Project brand. Tom, you became like an extended family member in a weird way. You became like an, you I feel like an extended family member. It's, you've always been so welcoming and, and supportive of the projects. We, we um, With our latest project here with uh, Grandma Bernice, oh, um, yeah. we really are trying to give uh, old people some access to the interwebs, as they call it. And, yeah, you know, uh, the, the geriatric needed, you know. That's right. <laughs> That's right. This is an underserved part of the population, but there's a lot of wisdom there. And uh, we got Grandma uh, waiting in the wings here. I just want to introduce her whenever you're ready. But thank you for having me on the show. Jen, it's a pleasure to meet you as well. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, uh, yeah, where's Grandma? I want some of that wisdom. Gra Grandma, let me get Grandma. Gra put the walker down, Grandma. No, that's Hi. No, yeah, I'm over here, Grandma, right here. Hang on one sec. She's she's having one of her moments. Hang okay. on. Okay. Come on, Grandma. Oh, this go. makes me really nervous. I'm I'm I don't know what to do. I know. What is it? I, I, I hope she she just don't try and touch me, Tommy. Yeah. Okay. You're right here. You're good, Grandma. You're right here now. This is Greg. You can be really nice to him, and this is Dan. Is she right right here? Okay. Hi. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> hey? Grandma Bernice. How you doing? Who are you? Who am I? I'm Greg, the Greg and, from the Greg and Jen show. That's right. This is Greg and Jen from the Greg wait, and Jen show. Wait, wait, hold on, Tom. Did she? Did she have Alzheimer's? What's that? Is she have dementia, Alzheimer's, or something? No, no. Surprisingly, this is her lucid. Um, you know, if, if she ever had Alzheimer's, she'd probably be a lot nicer. Oh. <laughs> hmm. What? 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 Yeah, these are the people we wanted to talk to today. Yeah. Hi! It's hey. nice to see you, Grandma Bernice. Oh, oh, you're such a theory. Well, How thank you. you. Hey, 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 Grandma Bernice, I hope I'm not out of line for saying this, but you know, this, for this, well, oh, the lady, you're a bit of a fox. You know what? What was that, Greg? You know, for old the lady, you're a bit of a fox. She is a bit of a fox. You know, he's pretty cute. <laughs> he is pretty cute. Well, that, I, I am. I like that mustache. Oh, thank you. Can, can I go for a ride? Well, you know. Well. Grandma Bernice, are you a single lady or are you married? Oh, I'm always single, dearie. Oh. Well, I, I, I don't know. I've never really married. been with a cougar before, but, you know. Cougars? Yeah. They're very soft. Are they? How do you know that? I moved on to ferrets, you see. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you did. Well, yeah. Grandma, okay. you what, what you say? Yes. If I call 5,000, do I get you on the line? You can get me anytime you want, Grandma Bernice. Ooh, you, you have a quick little win about you. Hey, Grandma, put the phone down now. You can't call Greg right now. You're on a show with him. Tommy, what the fuck are you doing? It's fine, Grandma. Well, you can call him like He's right here. These people can hear you. This is a show. Oh. You might want to tell Hi. Grandma a little bit. Tell her a little bit about your show. Yeah, yeah we, this is the Greg and Jen show. This is a free-form uh, free show. So it's, like a late, it's like our own late-night talk show. Oh, late night. Yeah, and I have to ask you a question, late Grandma. Night. Do you have any do you have any alcohol beverage? Because on this show you must have some sort of alcoholic beverage to be on this show. 
Grandma always has her juice. <laughs> what kind of juice might that be, Grandma? You should know by now. Oh. A little whiskey in there? Some vodka? Sometimes it's whiskey. Sometimes it's vodka. Sometimes it's a medical sample. So do you get down with the medicinal things? Do you puff on the Chiba? Ooh. Chewbacca? <laughs> no, no, not Chewbacca, but the Chiba. Do you uh Tell me, tell me. Yeah. What, what is that? Uh, you're asking her about about the, the, the Chiba? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's uh she's somewhat familiar with that, if you know what I mean. C clear up the glaucoma? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's good for the glaucoma. Mm -hmm. You know, glaucoma. Oh! oh yeah. <laughs> when you get those pains, you know, like when your family My comes over. My infection connection. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, you know, if you ever need a dealer, I, I, I can hook you up. Oh, he can hook you up. He can hook me up? But not to that machine that monitors your We're heart. going to hook up? Yeah. Ooh. Here, you're going to hook up later. A mustache ride for free. Oh boy. <laughs> Grandma's having a moment. She's she's a Well, she is a single lady after all. She can do whatever she, she wants to do. Yeah. I, I like you. Who are you, Gary? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jen. I'm part of the Greg and Jen show. You are cute. You remind me of B. Arthur. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's He's boxy. Yeah, that's on her bucket list. Be Arthur. Be Arthur. <laughs> Do you have a bucket list? Um, no, unfortunately I don't. Greg, do you have a bucket list? I have a, I have a huge bucket list, actually. A huge... Oh, come on, Greg, you know you have a bucket list. Who, to, to give me the top five actresses. Oh, whew. Okay, I'm going to go with this. Let's see. Top five actresses. That's a tough one. Well... One of them, you know what, ever since she got married, I just haven't been appealing as much, but she's still on the have to say Beyonce. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beyond yeah. who? Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce. On the Super Bowl, remember her? Remember her? You pointed at her. You said wardrobe malfunction, please. Remember that? You don't remember that. Who else? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Zoe De Chanel. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Zoe. Who are these people? Why are they on your bucket? Oh, Zoe's pretty hot. Yeah. Yes, and women. Why are you hating? <laughs> Why what? Why are you hating? I'm not hating. I just don't. I just don't. Hating. What does this have to do with hating? <laughs> That's a lot to do with him. We were talking uh, about people we want to do. Oh. Well, I have to say, the next person would be you, Grandma. You want to do it now? No, we're, we're on the oh. show right we're now. We're on. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. you know, I can make a trip out. We got, we got two more on your bucket list. Tell me, I'm thirsty. Oh, yeah. The world's, be the world's best lover. Wow. It is you got to ask her about where she got this cup from. Oh, where would you get that cup from? The cup? Oh, that was Henry. Ooh. Now, who's Henry? Henry. Ooh. Henry. That's the thought of his name. Was he, was he an old beau? An old husband? I mean, he was old. <laughs> By the time I finished with him, but I mean he was good. He was good. Mm -hmm. He gave he gave her the cup. Actually, uh, was it during the honeymoon? You said? During the honeymoon. Yeah, like literally. Literally. Yeah, literally during the honeymoon. He gave it to me. You know, during the honeymoon. Yeah, I was kind of doing this. Tommy, don't do that with my juice. You shake it up too much, it comes right out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Grandma. I don't know about Tommy. See, I, this is why it's important for older people to have access to video logs. We're fascinated with video logs. She's had her video log up, what, about how many months? Uh, months? 
Yeah. Did I go um, a month? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah so, so. I don't know, you know, time, Tommy. Time is nothing to me. You know, I'm old. Yeah. I'll be gone soon. I don't care. I'm just happy to be here now. That's why you got to get up on that horse and ride it, Grandma. I just got to get right back on it and just ride it. If I get closer, can I hear him? Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Right here? Yeah. yeah. Do you like spiders? I guess. You you do? Kind of, I guess. They, they, they're okay. I don't, I don't like spiders. No? Why not? Yeah. I want to hear more about sex. <laughs> What, what, what do you want to know about sex, Grandma? I mean, I would help you out. Grandma, are you getting some right now? Or are you? Do you have somebody special? Well, Tommy's here. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Hi. It's a <laughs> long story, but yeah. Oh wow. He's special. So, so you're not deep. You look so confused, Gregory. It started with a sponge bath. It's a very long story. Sponge. I like sponges. Sponge bath, wow. That cleans up the messes. That's right, that's right. Oh. We met over a sponge bath. You know, we saw a Speedo parade the other day. Speedo? There was lots of colors. Yeah, lots of colors. A lot of hair, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is why we, uh, we kind of wonder if, if people like Bernice really should have access to the internet. You notice a lot of people have YouTube shows that probably shouldn't have them? Well, you know what? Here's the thing. I think the geriatric need an outlet. They need somebody they can relate to. That's right. Somebody to relate to. I'm related to a lot of people, Jerry. A lot of yeah, people. You're, you're wow. You're an egg donor. I like eggs. Yeah, she donated a lot of her eggs. Hard boiled, <laughs> her own. Wow. Yeah, this is a good time. Did you fall off? You have to donate some eggs. That's right. You want to donate an egg? Why? Well, I, Jen may be able to donate some eggs to you. I don't know if I can. Ooh. Egg donation. Yeah, she's related. You're related to a lot of people, though. I might be related to you guys. Really? Yes. I you look like you, Gregory. I think we're all related at some point <laughs> if you go back far enough. You know, we're all good swimmers with evolution and all. I can't swim, Tom. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good point. That right? is a good point. Yeah. Tom. Good Tom. Point. Tom. Thanks, Tom, Tom I can't swim. Sorry. I can't swim. <laughs> We, you, you evolve or die, my friend. Evolve or die. Take your socks off. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Take your socks that's off. Your best, that's your best pickup line right now at the at the home Grandma, here. Grandma, do me a favor. Tell, then, Grandma, tell Jim to take her socks off. We're trying to get the we're trying to get the foot fetish people for our shows. So tell Jen to take her socks to, off. Are your toes manicured, sweetheart? No, not at the moment. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. you, you should probably lie. Yes, yes, they are. You have yeah, there you go. There, the, the, Bernice will help you, okay? You haven't really lived till you've seen her seductively take off orthopedic socks. <laughs> they keep me warm. That's right. <laughs> keep, keep the circulation going. going. It's flowing. Right. Hello. 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 So how's the uh, how are you enjoying having a video show as opposed to a radio show? Oh, it's it's been great. I mean, Blog Talk was the demon of podcasting. So I'm glad. And also we'll be on iTunes very shortly too. Oh, that's very cool. Yes. That's yes. very cool. What's this blue light? That's what you're looking to, Grandma, right? Oh. Now. The blue hey, light. hey Grandma, let me ask you this question. How do you like the new outfit? My outfit? No, my outfit. Well, that's sexy. Oh, well, oh yes, it is. Stand up and turn around for Grandma. Oh. Yeah, Greg, you got to stand up and turn around, man. She's got to check it out. There we go. 
can find us. Where does the dollar go? <laughs> That's for you, Grandma. Right here. That's right. Oh, oh. my. Oh, my goodness. Frame it up. Yeah. Sexy. Oh. Now it's for you. <laughs> I'm Work starting it. to feel like the third wheel here. <laughs> you, you didn't you you feel like a third they wheel. <laughs> the three stone. Well. All right, let's talk to Jen. Jen's Jen. feeling left out. Jen? Jen. Jen? So, Jen, are you in LA? I am in Los Angeles, yes. Oh, okay, so are we. Ooh, I'm in the our valley. Show based, our show is based here in Los Angeles as well. How you long? have a show? What? We yes, that thing show? you do. <laughs> We have like, how many I like that song. We have like 17 episodes. I don't know that song at all. I have no idea what, what she's doing. I think that's, is that the theme to Deliverance? I like that. So my first husband was in there. Oh, was he? Yeah, he my father. Nice. I oh, I remember person. that. Thing. Yeah, I remember the same guy. So, Jen. Jen. She is kind of cute. You can stay. You're, oh, not, you're not a third wheel. You know, Jen, Tommy is a good lover. <laughs> I, I, I thought he was, you guys were, it was both of you sponge bathing. <laughs> well, that's... I, I, I share him. He has nights off. I oh. like to bath in the day uh -huh. because I can dry in the sun. Yeah. You see. That's nice. She dries in the sun. I dry. Yeah. But not everything is dry. What's the moistest thing uh, you have? My tongue. I knew it. <laughs> Ooh, Grandma, stick Did that tongue out of here. When you were younger? Did you do that? <laughs> oh. Excuse us just one second. Hi, Tommy. I'm done. That was good. Hi, hey, Tom, hey, Tommy, hey, Tommy, Tommy, do me a favor. Yeah. How about how about you leave so we can make this a threesome? Okay. I'll leave right now. We'll make this a threesome. There we go. About time. I mean, what the hell? Sometimes in in a four people, it's not an orgy. It's an OG. You know, like OG. What do I do? So, that's good that you asked him to leave. So, Grandma, I ask you this question. What do you think of my co-host, Jen? I, I think she's a beautiful woman. Do you think she's beautiful? I, you know, Tommy showed me a clip. Uh, or, or, clip, or, clip, or, I don't know. But, she had these, we call them fun bags. They're huge. Ooh, love her love it. You know, Bernice wasn't blessed in that area, so she's like, well, be Arthur. Great. Lots of fun. Every, every show, Grandma, I try to get Jen to show her breasts so we can get more viewers and money, but she refuses to. Well, I agree. It helps get money. My granddaughter does it. Um, my daughter did it before her. So, you know, they put Grandma in this nice, beautiful retirement home. And my son-in-law did it after his operation. Mm. So, she should try it. She should help you out. Get that, Jen. Help me out. Wow, I <laughs> this is so overwhelming right now. I feel like I'm being ganged up on. Being ganged up on is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Don't ever turn that down. That's a lot of fun. Uh, were you ganged up on, Grandma Bernice, a lot? A lot is not the word for it. <laughs> we had to schedule it. Oh my! Let me ask you this question. Tommy has Grandma. that day planner somewhere because sometimes I like to think about the good times. 
Let me, let me ask you a quick. Tell, tell, tell us a little bit about your past. I mean, what did, what was your your past profession when you were younger? Like what I did? Yeah, or what who did I did? <laughs> well, who did you do? Did you? Because you're in L.A. Did you come across any famous men like I don't know, Burt Reynolds or something? Oh yeah. Ooh, Burt. Just the sound of his name. Burt B. Burt. E. John Forsyth? Now that's a deep, nice name I can definitely get behind. Gil Gerard? Do you know him? No, I don't think I do. He's Buck Roger. Oh, okay. My before my time. Well, I'm before your time, but I'll be. <laughs> Ahead of your time, if you know what I mean. You know what, Grandma? I'm strangely attracted to you for some reason. That's the only way to be attracted to me. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about you. I'm, I'm not into older ladies, but I, I don't know. Something about the gray hairs is turning me on right now. You should get into this one. <laughs> I have a beat. Well. Log. Oh, the V. Oh, yes, yes. Well, I, I don't know. That that might be dangerous territory for me. Well, why don't you tell me what your favorite video is of mine? Wait, say it again. I didn't hear you, Grandma. What is your favorite video of mine? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Well, what they got, what I can say is, I enjoy your videos, and uh, they, they're very interesting. You know, you have a very interesting view on life. You haven't seen them, have you? Your videos? Oh, yes. Well, the last video I saw was your bucket list, uh, which I think was episode 17, I believe. And then there was one Did you with... you see the one with my special grandson, Brandon? Yeah, I've I, I seen him. I, I don't know if, I, if that was him, but I, I did see one episode where you kind of, this was kind of weird. You kind of urinated on yourself. What was that about? Hey, sometimes that happens. I have trouble with my water work. Well, you should be wearing the pens. Tunnel. Yeah, the cabin cabin. I hear the pens are more some connection. Get a little loose. You don't wear the pens, you know, you, you know, they do make those. They actually make the pens. I depend on myself and that's it. Well, you urinate on yourself, so you need some sort of help. It was hot out, and I thought that when the wind picked up, it would cool me down. And, and what, about that, what about that toenail situation? You had a vlog about a toenail. You refused to get your toenail cut. You had a situation with that. What's going on with that? Well, Brandon... He was such a dearie. He was helping me out. The toenail was really long and a little moldy. You see, I can't reach it. And plus, it's disgusting. Hmm. <laughs> so I have to have someone else, you know, help me out. Obama. Oh. He helps me out. He does. <laughs> So, so Would you like to help me out? If I can, I'll I, help you out. Yeah, we'll help you out. Thank you. You are such a great, you know, you are just such a hot little toot. Now we eat it right up there, Jen. <laughs> Gr Grandma, do you do you go both ways? Are you attracted to women? I grew up. In a time where things were changing, mm. things are still changing, so I change. Mm. You know, guys, girls, holes, a hole is a hole. Every hole needs a finger warmer. Mm. Okay. Gay marriage, everybody is happy. <laughs> I want to be happy. Hmm. They should have gay divorce. <laughs> they should. They should have gay divorce. They should have all kinds of 
gay things. I, I, I'm like, screw being happy. Be gay. Be happy. Be gay. I knew I liked you. I knew I liked you. Oh, well, wow. I'm a likable Speedos? guy. Am I what? Do you wear Speedos? Do I wear Speedos? Uh, you know, I don't wear Speedos. I'm more of a brief guy. You know, Speedos, not my thing. That's I just don't like wrong. things to be brief. I want them to be a little long. Well, the, the Speedos were constricted for me. I, it can't constrict my stuff, you know? I'm strict. Oh, are you? No need to brag. Hmm. <laughs> I, see, Grandma, I, I can't wear nothing that's going to constrict my stuff. I got to just let it all hang out. Are you drinking right now? Jen? Jen, are you drinking? Oh, she's drinking. I am. I've got oh. some white wine with me. That looks like pee. <laughs> <laughs> it's white wine. Very nice. Yeah, we're Classy. drinking. We're drink See, Grandma, what a lot of people don't know is I'm a functioning alcoholic, unfortunately. So it functions? Oh, yes, it functions very well, actually. I, I, I wanted to function for a long time. Actually, you know, I want to fund a project because they have vaginal rejuvenation. I want to fund scientific research for penis rejuvenation so when I become an old man, they can rejuvenate my penis, and when I'm like 70, I'll have a penis of a 20-year-old, and I'm back in the sack. I'm back in the saddle. Well, I'm very glad you don't have groupie dick. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> Isn't the internet wonderful? Yes, it is. I love it. Well, I love you. I like the way you say I love doing my video log and I love doing Tommy. Oh, I sponge bath. Did you say you needed Get something the fuck out of here, Tommy? <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, can you maybe take us through your day? Like what do you do when you wake up? Do you have breakfast with other people at the nursing home or I mean what what happens? Yeah, what do you like to eat? I wake up. Screaming. <laughs> and then I wake up again about an hour later <laughs> and try to find my clothes. Oh my. Oh wow. Oh wow. And then I do my V. Flop. Right. Flop. Wow. <laughs> Then so, it's nap time. Oh, oh, Grandma, do you I have like to go? Tea. Do you have to go? Do I have to go? Go yeah, where? To, we, we, I'll say, oh, because it was nap time. We're having so much fun. No, she's no, telling no, us about I, No, no, keep up, keep up, keep up. Okay, here. I'll keep, keep I'm up sorry, here. I'm sorry, Grandma, I'm sorry. I, she, take your time. Okay. I take my time. You do? Okay. I... I wake up screaming, <laughs> then I wake up an hour later, then I had to find my clothes, then I do my vlog, then I take a nap, then gentlemen callers come over. Ooh. Would you like to see some pictures? Oh, yes. Absolutely. These are my grandsons. <laughs> Grandma, the, the, there's, there's a, a scanning bar in the middle. Um, it looks like a price tag. Yeah, what is that? Like a barcode. I bought him in Uruguay. You, you sure that's your grandchildren? You... That's what they... they're telling me. I think or did that come with a picture frame? 
They, they do. You're quick. I like that. <laughs> He's quick. I, I take my time. I, I like. Are you Are you there? Yep, I'm there. She's okay. quick. I take my time. This is Brandon. I saw Brandon. him on your vlog. Yeah, we saw. That doesn't look like Brandon, though. He's very young there. I, I don't know. It still doesn't look like him. You sure? We didn't let him out in the sun until later. Oh, okay. This is Henry. I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> and Tommy's in the center. How old is Tommy there? You see, he's not my real grandson. So he's like 50. I thought you liked them younger than that, Grandma. Yeah. Well, that is younger. No, I'm, I'm totally my age. For crying out loud. You're 77? You look great for your age. I know. You want sexy mama for 77. You know what it is? It's these. Those? You can do so much with them. You can build things. <laughs> You can flirt with them. You can flick them at your grandchildren when they're being bad. I like that. And idea. when they're good. Oh. Keep them on their toes, you know. I, I like that. I like that a lot. Grandma, one of our one of our topics on the show tonight was going to be talking about Amanda Bynes being arrested. Do you know who Amanda Bynes is? It's about time. That little whore. She needs to check her shit. <laughs> I completely agree with you. I, I, I'm loving it. I, I hope she get a room next to Lizzie Lohan. I just... What's going to happen to her? Do you know? Well, she's claiming that, that when she was arrested for... for uh, possession of marijuana that the police officer Mary Jane? Mary Jane? I know Mary Jane! <laughs> How well do you know her? Old friend! Old friend! <laughs> uh, she was claiming that the police sexually harassed her. That's what the handcuffs are for. Oh! Right? Do you like handcuffs, Grandma? Handcuffs are fun, especially when they're fuzzy. <laughs> then it doesn't hurt so bad. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no. Wait, Jen, what do you know about I really handcuffs? loved her in Beaches. Wait, Was Jen she in Beaches? Beaches. No, I don't think so. Who? Amanda Bynes? No, I, think, I think Amanda wasn't even born when Beaches came out, Grandma. I think you might be thinking Bette Midler? Yep, yes. I think you mean Bette Midler. Same thing. <laughs> I think Bette Midler's a little bit more talented than Amanda Bynes. And probably less likely to be sexually harassed. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very true. <laughs> what are you putting? Are you putting lipstick? Very talented, on? though. Lovely woman. Lovely woman. Grandma, what are you putting on your lips? Well, it's my chapstick. Oh. I'm warming up for you. Ooh. Oh, wow. Well, let me warm up for you, Grandma. I'm putting on chapstick, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hand check. I don't want any strangers happening. <laughs> Although I like strangers. They're fun. You do? Have you ever have you had uh, any one-night stands? Tommy. Every night. 
<laughs> he can only stand once. Oh my. I don't know if he likes that information out there. <laughs> Who cares? I guess nobody does. He gets it once? That's it. Poor Tommy. No, no, no second round? I like to go two or three rounds at, sometimes. He has a long refractory period. So, you know. Grandma, what are you saying? What, you, what, what were you doing? Uh oh. Shh. Is she being, is everything okay? Is she doing oh, everything's all right? Everything's great. Tom, why don't you come back in the conversation, Tom? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Hi, were you talking about me? Huh, Grandma? What? No, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> She's something, isn't she? She's a peach. Oh, she is. Do you want some of my chapstick? <clears throat> uh, later after this. Tommy, we uh, we hear that that you and Grandma Bernice are very very close. We're very close, at least once, once a day. <laughs> oh, uh huh. Right after the show. <laughs> she um, she 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 knows things that most people have forgotten. Let's face it. Well, it's good to have a seasoned woman, you know what I mean? Well, we forget about your, you know. Yeah, yeah, we don't forget about that. I do every day in that time. You, just, you do. What I love about Grandma is that Grandma has opinions about a lot of different things. You know, with our show, she's always talking about the news of the day, or your favorite celebrities, or all kinds of things. And I just love seeing her. Justin Hoffman! Wow, that was my ear. <laughs> He's short. He's short. Just like I am right now. See, I'm on my knees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're short. <laughs> okay. Hey, they can hear you. Oh, hi. Yeah. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, we enjoy doing the, the vlog, and, and I, I got to admit, I, I love Grandma. You know? Do you think there's spiders in here? No, no. There's no Ta Tommy, okay. how, how did you meet Grandma? Well, it's an interesting story. I was... Uh, I was in Uruguay, of course, and uh, she was... Uh, I took you from your family. She, yeah, pretty much took me from my family. Uh, Grandma, are you a homewrecker? Oh, my goodness. I, I was... Uh, well, no, I mean, I was... He was uh, a boy. Living with my parents. Oh. Uh, I mean, I was 37, living with my parents. I was a little bored, uh, and, and she came along with her... Uh, she actually was able to tie a cherry into a knot with her... I need someone to get the juices flowing. That's right. And you so, understand? Yeah, she had Absolutely. a juice machine actually. We were for squeezing oranges, and um, and so she took me back uh, here to the United States. Of course, uh, taught me English in her own special way, and uh, and then she wanted to get a computer, and we were like, hey, we want to get into this whole Google Hangout, you know, do the vlogs and everything. And so we started we doing do this. Lot. We do V. And we Google. We do V. We Google a lot. And do so, the V. Yeah, the vlog. You can subscribe to it. And so um, we do the vlog in order for Grandma to feel like she can reach her people. She can reach people that, that want to know the opinion reach of Reach my people? <laughs> that too. Yeah, we reach, we reach that occasionally. And, um, and then people can see her video log and learn her opinions about important events and, and things and get an, an older perspective from someone who's technology challenged, let's say. They're like challenges. Like, like your zipper. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you use Velcro? Okay, I'll go get some Velcro. Oh, Grandma. Some people think it's unusual, but we understand each other. Well, yeah, I think that's all that matters. That is Absolutely. all that matters, right, Grandma? Right. What? Hmm? What? What? All that matters is that you like my damn cigarette. Here, I'll, I'll get you some. Grandma, you gotta be careful with those cigarettes. Those things will kill you faster than crack. You have crack? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have any crack, but they'll kill you faster than crack. If it's gonna kill me, it's gonna have to get in line. <laughs> 
I have alcohol. Actually, that's my choice of drugs. That, that's my vice. That's your vice. Yeah, funny. You guys are going to get along great then. Oh, yeah. Grandma thinks that that's one of the things that's keeping her going, actually. That and my juice. That and the, the uh, grandma's juice. And her juice. What's I would juice love one day to have a sip of that juice. Oh, you will. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you can Jen have a sip of your juice too? Yep. <laughs> but I get first dibs though. We <laughs> like sloppy seconds. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. Like get my sloppy good. seconds. Hey, I'll wait my turn. It's a thing. She likes sloppy seconds. <laughs> I have a question. Sure. Hello? Hello? Yes. yes. Hello? What do you think I should do next? This is what I think you should do. I think I think it's time. I think you should continue, continue with your vlogs, but I think it's time for a Grandma Bernice movie. A movie? Yep, I think it's time for a movie. I like movies. Or she could take her show on the road. Yes. I, I, you know what, Grandma? I think a one... I had sex on the road once. Yeah. A little rough. A little that rough. is so risque. The gravel. But he definitely paved the way for me. <laughs> <laughs> you ever thought about, you know, going, you know, doing a, a play or something? Like a, a one-woman act play, you know? Going to Broadway. I think that would be great. Well, I am a one woman who plays with one woman. <laughs> so I've been there, done that, you know. Would you like to play but with I Jen? I would like to do Broadway. Would you like to play with Jen? Who's Jen? Right, right there, my co-host. Oh, in the middle, the best spot. Yes. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Yes, we, we want to see you on Broadway. What do you want to see me do? Well, one woman show, kind of like a you know, kind of like a, a show where you give your wisdom to the crowd. I could do that. Mm -hmm. I think you'd be brilliant at it. Oh yes. Close off or on? Optional. Optional. That's the name of the show. <laughs> only optional. Well, okay, let me ask you this. Can I ask you this, Grandma? What do you think me and Jen should do next? Each other. <laughs> no, he's like my brother. That's weird. Yeah, we're like brother and sister. Not weird where I'm from. <laughs> we're like brother and sister. It, stick it to your family. Second. <laughs> Ew. Like brother and sister. You should do it for older people. Your show. Your show. Oh, okay. oh, oh, yes. <laughs> well, you know what, Grandma? I tried every. I tell Jen every episode to show her breasts, and she refuses to do that. You got to kick her to the curb. I can't do that. She's she's the best. I would do it for you, but I can't get my arms over my head without humming. <laughs> hey, I th I feel like if I'm gonna give something up, that Greg needs to give something up and show something as well. Well, I'll give it up. <laughs> if we're giving it up, how did you meet, anyway? How did we meet, Jane? I'll let you tell the story. Um, well, interviewed one of my good friends and fellow producers uh, of our web series, and I graciously contacted him through Facebook and thanked him for doing it. We started a rapport, and then one day he asked me if I wanted to do a podcast with him, and I was like, yeah, I do. And the rest is history. And here we are. 
What's your website? www.thegeeksupremacyproject.com. Not you, Gregory. Oh. Well, you didn't <laughs> specify that, Grandma. What is the one with the fun bag? Oh, what's the fun your bag. website? What? Yes, Jen, what's your Web. website, Jen? Do you want my Get website right. or you want to know my web series? I want to know it all. <laughs> Well, my my website is listed below, but it's uh, jennifernangle.com. Is it listed below? No, below. 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 <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I have, I'm on a web series where it's, it's aliens <laughs> that guide humans <laughs> to make right decisions so that they can better themselves for 2012. That reminds me of my family trip I took. With aliens? Yes. Did you meet an alien? We, I, I had sex with one. An illegal alien or a space alien? Well, an alien is an alien to me. <laughs> <laughs> we went on a family trip to the woods. And we all stayed in this cabin, and there was this old, great, big book there. And so for story time, we sat down, and we summoned this beast. It was an alien, the Nectar Helion. And he raped me with my tentacle. Were you it's angry, boy? And that's when Henry was born. Maybe Brandon. He's a little strange. But either way, that's what we did. We went to the woods. So we both like aliens, huh? I, I guess so. <laughs> we have something in common. We do. <laughs> What kind of aliens did you have? Well, I I played an alien. Love it! <laughs> did you win? Did I did I what? Did I what? Did you win? Did you win? You played of an alien. I, I, I always win. Always win. Feisty. Feisty, aren't you? That I am. <laughs> what was the alien's name? That I that I played or that I <laughs> either way doesn't really matter. Just talking chit chat with the lady. <laughs> Grandma, that's a really pretty dress you have on. It smells. <laughs> oh. what, is, what does it smell like? Old cheese. Oh. Mothballs. I like balls, but no thank you. I'm tired. <laughs> I used to always think that old people smelled like bananas. You know what bananas are good for? <laughs> what is that? Eating. Oh. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. Who me? So nasty. <laughs> Oh my God! I had twelve matching mumu. I think I think that mumu on you, Grandma, is sexy. Shows my shapely figure. Oh. You look like you're in shape, Grandma. Oh yes. Do you work out a lot? The treadmill. I used to train with the Spartans, you know. Did you? The original. The original Spartans. <laughs> with sword fighting? Some Tai Chi. And then there's the sex swing that Tommy just put up the other day. <laughs> That's a workout. 
Definitely. <laughs> what about you? You look sexy. Are you talking to Greg or me? <laughs> Greg. Well, thank you, Grandma. You know, I, I like to look good, you know. I actually, you know what, Grandma, believe it or not, I actually designed this jacket myself. Ooh. Yeah. So you're smart. Inventive. Oh, I try. I'm a bit of a fashionista, though. You know what I mean? I love fashion. You like fashion? Yes, I do. So do I. Oh, you have something in common. You should make me a moo. Oh, I can. One of my granddaughters is a model. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to utilize services. I'm sorry, what? I'm going to have to utilize the services in the future. Utilize your services and <laughs> right now. Well, you do love the mustache. Rides for free, huh, Gregory? <laughs> For you, yes. I will not make you pay. You can ride for free. Grandma, you just keep inflating. Uh... I'm inflating? <laughs> His ego. I have to pee. What part of Greg am I inflating? Can you see that, Lo? <laughs> I can. Neither can I. Hey grandma, what, <laughs> grandma, what do you what do you what do you what do you think of my haircut? I just got a new haircut. Oh, it's very nice, Gregory. Oh, thank you. So, do you shave everywhere? Yes, I do. I I, I extensively manscape. It makes it, it, I do it all. Just hardwood floors. Yes. And does your carpet match the drapes? Oh, yes. Jen? I plead the fifth. Interesting. Fun bad. <laughs> he does. Matchy, matchy. <laughs> what about you, Grandma? Do you uh, make sure you're properly groomed all over? Tommy does. Tommy oh, does. Tommy does that. He mows the lawn for you. Oh, he has a lawn. <laughs> He's so helpful. He really is. He's such a sweet boy. You're so lucky. He's lucky. Get it straight. Sorry, my bad. My bad. <laughs> He's very lucky. Yes, he is. He says that he's like a rainforest down there. They're swinging from vines like Tarzan? Whoa, Tarzan's hot. <laughs> he has a little cloth. <laughs> Grandma, is there a man that you don't find attractive? Yes. And who is that man? Well, oh! Who's that kid from Twilight? Uh, Pattinson? Robert Pattinson? That's it! The vampire? I hate that fucker! <laughs> I hate him too! He's... You can take his sparkles and shove it up his ass. <laughs> you know, here's some grandma, check this out. You know, my sister, she's in love with that guy. I mean, she's in love with him so much, she literally stalks him. You know, she met him four times. She's completely obsessed with him. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what the appeal is. She, she tweets about him every day. She's met him four times. She, she's literally slept on, the, she's literally slept on the, the ground in the streets of New York City to meet she's him. She's slipping the tongue? No, she slept in the streets of New York to meet this guy. Whoa, drastic. Yeah. <laughs> she had a lot of free time, would you say? Well, she used to, you know, but beforehand, yes, unfortunately. Before she was arrested? 
<laughs> well, you know what? She was on her way to being arrested because she took a picture with him and he looked kind of creeped out. I can't imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it you're not a fan of the whole Twilight series. Never happened. What about the werewolf boy? You don't like him? Too much hair. Not <laughs> enough speedos. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he does have kind of a big nose. He's got a kind of a big beak. Well, if you have a big nose, you can find your way to a lot of things. <laughs> like my beak. No. No. Yes, yes, veal. Yes, 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 Grandma, tell the folks out there, tell my listeners where they can go, you know, for your vlog. I need some juice, Gregory. Okay, take the juice. <laughs> Drink your juice, Grandma. I love how she says Gregory. <laughs> I know. I do, too. I, I like how she says it. That's your name. Well, most people call Gregory. me Gregory. Well, most people call me Greg, you know. Well, I like Gregory. Well, I like how you say my name, so I don't mind you calling Gregory. me Gregory. Gregory. <laughs> Gregory. <laughs> Gregory. Gregory. <laughs> Gregory! Like you're in I like you, Jen. <laughs> Jen. Well, I like you too. Jennifer. <laughs> right. Woo! Grandma, you're being so sad. It's the juice. <laughs> <laughs> the juice will do that to you. <laughs> it does that to you. Oh, yes. So you want to know where to find me, right? Yep. You're going to find me at www.doc. Do you guys have that so far? I think right. so. Okay. Well, you think or you know? We no, know, we, we know, we got, we got it. it. We're good. Don't get sassy. <laughs> you tube. Do you need me to spell it? Nope, I think we're good. Nope, we, I think. We do, okay. we know. We're good. Got. We're good. Why are you yelling? Who's yelling? Oh, it's my volume. Hold on. <laughs> Tommy? Yes. Yeah, what, yeah. Is it dot com? Com? Yeah. Com? 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 I'm here. Com? 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 And then, and then uh, forward slash Grandma Bernice Vlog. Don't slash people. <laughs> Thing. I'll tell you. Did you get that? We got it. We got it. He he, he mumbles. She, only only when I'm. He mumbles. Only when I'm grooming you. Whoa. Yeah. Now, um, you can also reach Bernice on Twitter. Her name is Bernice Volvo. So it would be at Bernice. Hello. Volvo. Hello, Grandma. Volvo um, like the car? What's that? Volvo like the car? No. Uh, v U. Like Volvo. V Bo with an O. With an O. It's, it's Swedish. V V U L C O. No, V O. Right? V U L V O. Tommy, get it right, Tommy. Bernie's Volvo. At Bernie's Volvo. My God. V O U. L as in lover, V, v like vagina, <laughs> O. That's right, Grandma. Like that? That's right. You can find her on Twitter. I'm going to go and follow her right now. <laughs> yep. Ask her by name. Hey, hey, Grandma, can I ask you a question real quick? Oh, you asked away there, sexy. Oh, ooh, ooh. I like that. Now, I, I, you know, I have a website. 
And with your blessing, I would like to run some of your episodes off my website. Oh, yes. Run away with me. I would <laughs> love that. So I have, I have your blessings to showcase some of your, your blog on my website. You have your my blessings, your blessings, everyone's blessings to do me. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh my. I know what I'm saying when I come to LA. You come here, you come here? Oh yes. Let me know when you're up or they're up or anyone's up. And we'll do something about that. Okay, definitely because uh, I need a place to crash when I come out the, to La La Land. La La La, you just sing that away with my V and we'll be just fine. <laughs> Good, time for your pill. Here you go. Have your little pill. Get up my mermaid, Tommy! <laughs> Ooh, he always tries to stuff things down my face. And I'm not ready yet. <laughs> I have to exercise. You have to exercise before you have them stuff things down your throat? My jaw, Gregory, oh, my jaw. Oh, go, okay, okay. Go you have to loosen it up. Oh. These are things that you learn over time. Oh, okay. Good to know. My gag reflex. Oh, Jen? Jen? Yes? Are you there? I'm here. You know what I mean? Gag reflex. <laughs> Got Jen, it. Do you, Jen, do you really know about you gag okay? reflex? Who, me? What? Do yes. I know? Do you know about gag reflex, Jen? I, I do, yes. Know of it. Uh-huh. Oh. You seem a little uncomfortable. Are you okay? I'm, I'm well. I'm good. Is it the wine? It's the wine. Oh. Wine would do that to you. Well, that and talking about gag reflexes with Grandma. Hey, that sounds like a show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, great show, hell of a show. <laughs> I would love to have a topic about gag reflexes. They used to call me the sword swallower. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. In the circus, Jen. Oh, oh, my bad. My oh, bad. okay. Sorry, sorry. Our mom was in the gutter. <laughs> You're a dirty bird, Jen. <laughs> me? He started it. Well, someone has to start it. <laughs> Long well, somebody finish it. I'll finish it. Oh, yes. You know, oh. sometimes I'd like to, 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 to interact with people. Hmm. You know, my fans. And we say comments and... We write about them, and sometimes I talk about them, like their funny, weird names they have. Hmm. So we really like to hear people tweet about it. Is it tweet, tweet, tweet? Yes, tweet, tweet. I tweet with myself. Oh, you do. <laughs> no one ever answers, though. Aww. Oh, sorry to hear that. Don't be sad. I like myself. Oh, you should. You, you should get to know yourself more often. You know, what's funny is I have like 9,000 stuckers. There's people following me. That's it's amazing. Really That's great. It's a lot with Tommy. Just the one is very high maintenance. But now not what the fuck are I, you doing I just in said here? My name. Get away. God. He can never let you have your moment. Nope. He can't. 
Even during nap time. <laughs> <laughs> he momented on me earlier. <laughs> How much? About a teaspoon. Oh, okay. I will <laughs> 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 what about Betty White? Betty White. Well, she's still alive and kicking. So am I. Yeah, but you know, Betty White is a little bit too old. You know, that's uh... that bitch stole my act. Really? You said, wait, whoa, whoa, shots fired. You sound a little jealous about that. 1931. You're a little bitter about that, Grandma. What's going on? Yes, I am, Gregory. Don't be jealous. In 1931, I had a V lock. Grandma, I don't think they had. And he did it. I don't think they had the internet back in 1931. Exactly. <laughs> Did you use one of those, like, you know, sonograms or something? I, I don't know. I mean, they... And then she dismissed frickin' Betty White invented the internet. <laughs> she stole your idea, huh? I see her everywhere. Everywhere. I, Grandma, I don't know. You sound a little better. You sound. I think that's a little. You sound like you're being a, a hater. You sound like. Are you jealous? Yeah, you sound a little jealous there. I challenged her to a Jello wrestling match. She didn't want to do it. No. But, wow. I, I don't know if that's safe. I don't want you to break a hip. You could totally pay per view. That's what she said. That's what she said. Listen, this about is what, a damn hit. This is what we do. Listen, you're on the air right now. Issue a challenge to Betty White. If she accepts, I will promote it. I will promote the fight. You're going down. <laughs> I'm calling you out, Betty. It's about damn time. Make up for lost time. MMA style. Ah! Yo, Betty Who White. Heard? Yo, Betty White, if you watch it, you done, son. You done. Done. You're done. done. You're done. Right, Jen. You, Jen, tag team. You and me, Jello. <laughs> Nippery. Ooh. If that happens, can I join in? I don't. Well, what is your favorite flavor, Gregory? <laughs> Ooh, I like strawberry. <laughs> That can be arranged. They're in season right now. Oh, that they are. That is true. That they are. Hmm. You mash them, I'll trash them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make we'll make plans for that. But um, Grandma, we're coming to the end of our show. What? We're coming to the end of our show. What the? <laughs> that was short. I sure, didn't expect that for... from you, Gregory. We, we, I, I'm not sure. Listen, I, I, listen. I, it was a long show. We was off for almost an hour, I think. <laughs> yeah, we have been. Time flies. Time flies. Time flies when you're having fun. I mean, I do go all night, but you know. You, you go all night. Yeah, I, I do go all night, but you know. I only stay up till eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's past Unless I've had some prunes, and then it's a different story. Oh. Then I really go all night. Oh. Well, well, Grandma, I, I want to say thank you for coming on the show. Can, can, you, can you bring Tommy back? Tommy! What? Tom? Yep. Yeah. Here is the fucker you wanted to talk to him. Hi. What did you say? Oh, hi. We said hello. Hi. Yeah, thanks for having us on the show. Want to smoke? Maybe later. 
Well, thanks for having us. Oh, definitely. We, we definitely appreciate yeah, you guys being on the show. And, and I, I spoke to Grandma, and she I got her blessings to air some of her episodes on the Geek Supremacy Project website. Oh, that's awesome. Let us know when they're up, and, and I'll, I'll make sure Grandma knows. And you knows. repeat yourself. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> I like to go twice, Grandma. What do you, what do you want? It's like Johnny Car- Ooh, <laughs> why? You double dipper, you. <laughs> Well, thank you for putting uh, putting uh, the shows up and having us on the show. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. She, she's a sweetheart in her oh, own way. Don't touch me. I'm not. That wasn't my hand. It's not that big, Tommy. Well, well, Grandma, you you and Tommy are always welcome back to come back on the Greg and Jen show. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you for putting up with us. We really appreciate you it. You can come back, too, but you got to wash it first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. And now uh, we're, we're gonna. <laughs> well, you know, let for Grandma. Let's all sign okay, off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get the sponge. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, she wants that sponge back. Let we're gonna mm-hmm. we're gonna sign off. Okay, so we're gonna thank Grandma for being on. It's a little hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, hey, Grandma and, and Tommy, what, um, when you uh, when we log off, what you, you know, what you uh, stay on, what we'll, we'll t- talk about. Show That's nice. <laughs> Woo, feeling a little fancy. <laughs> Living. Okay. Yeah, we use lemon to clean everything. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Okay. Yeah, that's what Thank you for having us. Always. Bye. Thank you for coming on. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> okay, it's time for the special bath. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, Grandma, we're just we're walking, and we're walking, and we're walking, and we're walking. Looking good there, Grandma. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Jennifer. Oh, thank Tommy, you, Mom. shut up. It's Hi. time for her nap now. Hi. <laughs> Grandma. I'm hungry. They can hear us. Get it over here. All right, I got to go. Yeah, you take care of that sponge bath. Uh, yeah, that's what we call it. <laughs> she's she's, she's hungry. Thank you for having us on the show. Oh, no problem. Anytime, Tom. Appreciate it. Take care. Take care. <laughs> I think he's trying to sign off. <laughs> Tom, there's a little button on the top that says it's like a phone. You just hit that button and it hits yeah, you. Hang on here. Grandma's coming. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, that was fun, Jen. Wow. Grandma Bernice. Oh, I love Grandma Bernice. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> she's a she's a little risque. I know. Well, you know, that's the thing about old people. They just don't give a fuck. That's true. They just don't give a fuck. I mean, think about it. You ever hear old people when they talk about we're our end of days? And you're like, yeah, of course we, you're in your end of days. You're old as fuck. So, I mean, your end of days can come anytime. They can come in the middle of the night for crying out loud. So, you know, I, I was oh, I wouldn't give a fuck. I, I, you know what? If I live to be an old man, say like 90, I'm just going to walk outside butt ass naked. I'm just going to walk out butt naked. Let it all hang out in the wind. I mean, I'm a 90 year old guy, you know. I don't give a shit. Who cares? Let it all hang out. I'm telling you, by then, hopefully, my scientific research for penis rejuvenation, okay, will have come to effect. And I'll be 90 with a 20 year old penis, and I'll be back in the saddle. You got to do what you got to do. No, I'm there. Listen, I'm serious. Listen, we're going to start. Okay, listen, folks. We're going to start an Indiegogo campaign, okay, or a Kickstarter campaign to fund scientific research for penis rejuvenation, okay? They already have technology for vaginal rejuvenation. Ladies, if you're out there, I highly recommend it if you're of a certain age, okay? You want to keep it tight, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm starting a scientific uh, research campaign for penis rejuvenation, so... Guys, so when you become old, you know, and, and you're old, and you don't, you're not going to need Viagra. You just get the penis rejuvenation, you're back in the saddle, you have a penis of a 20-year-old, 
and there you go. You have to worry about Viagra. You don't have to worry about killing over in bed of a heart attack because you, 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 know, you came too hard. You know, you'll be all set. You think your heart can keep up with all that? Okay, you know what, Jen? You know what? We need to have a discussion because you know what? You you have been against me. What's going on with you? You're supposed to back me I, up on these things. I just think that it's 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 by by the time you're ninety, you're going to be so exhausted. You're just not going to have any energy to even do any of that, even if you do have the penis rejuvenation. Speak for yourself. I'm going to fuck to the day I die. You hear me? To the day I die, I will continue to try and have sex because I love sex so much. I know I love sex so much. When I have when I have sex, I like the lights off so nobody knows that I'm having a good fucking time doing it. That's how much I love sex. I love sex that much. That's how much I love sex. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing it to the day I die. Okay, so I'm gonna fund research for penis rejuvenation. Okay. All right. Well. You do that, and I will see how it goes, and I will check in with you when you're 90, and I'll see how much energy you have. I'm going to have all the energy. Jen, I think you need looking for vaginal rejuvenation once you hit, like, 50. Don't give me that. Don't give me that look. I need to do some research. It's the newest sensation across the nation. You live in L.A., for crying out loud. Isn't that big over there? I mean, all the plastic surgery. You, just, you need to hop on that. Plastic surgeries, but nobody's talking about vaginal rejuvenation. They will be. They will be. Okay. All right. Then, then you can tell me that I'm wrong. But until then. Listen, the Research Center. Okay, listen, folks. The Research Center for Penis Rejuvenation is in effect. Okay, we are starting a campaign to research, and, and this is going to help men get back in the saddle. I'm telling you. It's... And be fine, man. Trust me. You will be screwing to the day you D-I-E, okay? I would like to go out like that, actually. I would mind going out having sex. That means I'll have a smile on my face. Like, I'll be lying in the casket. I'll just be like this. Actually, like this. they would be like, I know he went out. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> Well, enough about penis and vaginas and all that good stuff. It's been a fun show, folks. Thank you for rocking with us here at the Greg and Jen Show. And um, you know what? Uh, you know, Jen, I, I just want to take this time, you know, and uh, thank you for being the most uh, gracious and fabulous big-breasted co-host a man can have. You just said that because you wanted to say big breasts. Yeah, big breasts. I like big. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm lu I'm lucky. I mean, how many the, how many podcasters? Okay, how many hosts can say they have? I have you. I have Heather for Pleasant Nightmares. How many how many hosts can say they have two beautiful big breasted women? As hosts, I don't. I don't think many. I think you're very unique. In that, I'm very unique. I'm very. Unique. You know, I'm gonna take this time out because you know me. And you had this discussion, and you know what? What I love about you, you keep me sane. And not only you keep me sane, you know, you kind of reel me in because you know what? Greg wanted to spit venom. I want to spit some venom tonight. I want to throw some disc records out because I'm angry, mad, upset. I want to spit venom, disc records. Because people in this business, in this podcasting community, in the web series world, this whole indie community has been pissing me off. They've been doing some shady shit again. Me? Not you, not you, but I'm just saying they've been doing some shady stuff, and I want to call people out, but you told me, don't do it, Greg. Don't do it. You need to be the bigger man. I am the bigger man in many ways, sweetheart, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, was that inappropriate? Uh, no. Okay, good. If it was, I wouldn't give a damn, but anyway. Um, <laughs> I am the bigger man, but I will say this. I'm not going to name names. But you know what, though? I'm just going to let you guys know this. Damn, I lost my train of thought. What was I going to say? See, it's kind of hard without naming names. Hold on. Let me think about this. Oh, listen. I, 
I was going to spit Venom, but I'm not. I'm not going to name names, but you know what? There's a lot of egotistical bullshit out there, and I'm just letting people know, okay? I've had, and, and, you know, the, the Greg and Jen show was fairly new. We just brought back Pleasant Nightmare, the horror podcast with uh, Heather Cassell, and also our new uh, news correspondent for Pleasant Nightmares, uh, Ariel Hansen. Um, she also will be writing for the web series, so look out for that, her Horror Hub, which will be up on the um her blog, I said web series, her blog on the website, um, you know, and that's come back, and I've been doing the, the main podcast, the brand, the Geek Supremacy Project for a while, and I'm here to say, I'm not in this business to make you hot, okay, I'm tired of making people hot, okay, you know, I, I'm tired of, you know, making people hot, and, and, and not that I ask for anything in return, because I don't, but you know, once... You know, I may ask for a favor, I kind of get like, oh, well, I don't know if I can do that. You know, I don't, I don't know if I can do that. You know, I, no, you know what? Fuck you, okay? Because I'm tired of making your ass hot. I'm not making people hot no more. You want to be on my shit? You want to prove to me, okay? You got to be on the radar. That simple. So, amen. Take how you want to take it. We ain't, we're not here to make people hot and all that stuff. No, 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 no. I we're just here to have a good time. We yeah, want to have some laughs, and we want the egos at the door. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely because we're going to talk about egos. We know who the best out there is. We the best. Like DJ Cali, we the best. Ain't nobody, ain't too many people can rock with us. And I challenge anybody out there to do so. Because you can't. Ooh, those are fighting words. It is fighting words. Shots fired. I challenge anybody out there to think they're nicer than me on the mic. Anybody that's nicer than me on this mic, you think you're nicer than me, you come challenge me. Come holler at me. I ain't that far away. I'm on the internet. I'm on the internet every day. You can holler me Facebook. Facebook me. Okay, follow me on Twitter. It's right there at Gregory Hall 5000. Get at me. Website. Hit up the website. I'm right there. You think you can rock with me? Come see me. But like I said, I'm not in the business of making people hot. You're going to be on my show, you got to be hot already. Because you know what? I'm tired of, oh, I don't know if I can do it. You know, nah, fuck all that. You know what I mean? It is what it is. And I ain't naming no names, but you know who you are. So if you feel the type of way, get at me. And I'm going to leave it at that. Because you can't see me. You can't see my girl Jen. And you damn can't sure see Heather or Ariel. You know what I mean? So... We the nicest out there, and it is what it is. And you got a problem with it? Oh well, either you with us or you against us. Either way, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> and on that note, I'm gonna sip on my wine. We gonna sign off. I'm Gregory Hall, and I'm Jennifer Nagel. This is the Greg and Jen Show. We're